back to the High Line. We are your hosts, Daniel. And Vrish. And today we're going to be talking to you about some of the events that have been going on here at LHS over the past few months. But first, I have a joke. Tell me. How's the Roman Empire cut in half? I don't know. With a pair of Caesars. Oh! That sucked. Dude. I, I tried. But the Tenacity team could have done better. That's right. Speaking about that, some of the Medco students got to take part in the Tenacity Challenge. We had the opportunity to speak with some of them. Let's look at some of the footage now. Hi, my name is Wadeb Emanuel and I'm a sophomore at LHS. Hi, my name is Claire Goose and I'm a sophomore. I'm Layla Hood and I'm a sophomore at LHS. So I'm Soraya Hodge, I'm a junior at Lexington. I'm Ariana Akram, I'm the MECO social worker at LHS, and I was the lead coordinator of the Tenacity Challenge. Great. What would you say the mission of the Tenacity Challenge is? I think it's really to highlight Black and Latinx um, academic excellence and like show that even um, students of color who might feel marginalized at school, um, they can like shine just the way that their white counterparts do. Um, and it also give, gives them an opportunity to get uh, scholarships. So the top four teams receive uh, individual scholarships. So the Tenacity competition is basically a statewide competition where Metco schools and Metco programs, not Metco schools, Metco programs around, um, around Massachusetts, they come together and compete. And it's, 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 it's really cool bowl. There's like a bunch of departments and a bunch of like, um, not areas, but like different things you can focus on and you can compete in different ways and find ways that are really enjoyable for you to like actually like what you're doing because it, it can be a lot. So for the art project, we actually had a lot of fun. We made paper mache people. It was two boys and they were sitting at a desk and like real size desk. They were like human size and they were facing each other to show, to represent the like affinity circles that we have in our school, um, kind of representing a club we have here called ALS, um, African American Latinx Scholars at LHS. My poem was focusing on spring and that that part was about how Pecola got raped by her father. And I had to demonstrate that through a poem. It was very difficult because Pecola always felt that she wasn't wanted or needed. And it was the image was that she always wanted to be white with blue eyes. And it was very difficult for her to like find beauty in oneself. Yeah, so I think although like my team we didn't win most of the things we expected to win but I think something that was really rewarding is looking at like our final project and knowing that us and us like us as in like students who are usually unrepresented like unrepresented in schools which are mainly like white or Asian populated can like kind of create something that's extremely cool and it was really rewarding because it was like wow like we if we put the effort and the time into something we really enjoy we can create something super cool and we created like paper mache humans which is so dope and it was super cool and i loved it um so akil who runs the tenacity challenge he's the bedford record director he started playing music and all the kids like got on stage and just started dancing like they were doing like the cupid shuffle the cha-cha slide then they started requesting music and like everybody like at first, Lexington represented and we were on stage first, but then like they got all these other kids to like come on stage with them and everybody was up there dancing and it was just such a like fun, heartwarming experience to watch. And just one more final congratulations to all Tenacity contestants. What else is going on at our school? So as you may know, the seniors recently had their last day of school, May 26th and we got a chance to talk to them and they left behind some great advice and here we go. My favorite memory is probably the end of junior year when all the APs were done. Everyone was just in the quad having a great time and enjoying the weather and it was just so much fun because there was a spike ball going on, people were playing cards, there was chalk and it was just a really nice time. My favorite memory from high school is the High Cut Video Production Club. You know, just trying to figure out how to get the best shot, um, how to do things in the best way possible, and it's just really great to share a common vision, and you know, it's just fun hanging out with people who are interested in the same things as you, so. Probably advanced digital art class, 
I like drew every single class and then all my ideas that I synthesized in class, I'd go to advanced digital art and be able to actually like put them down in a productive way where people actually like wanted me to do that. I'd say one of my favorite memories is definitely like the friends I made, all the teachers, all the custodians. I'm part of Wind Ensemble and we went on a Hawaii trip this year. It'll probably be like the highlight of my high school experience. Eating lunch outside in the quad and you can do little social experiments like pointing up at the sky and seeing how many people like stare up there and see what's up there. Like shout out to the lunch guy that said chicken, uh, spicy chicken sandwich to me every time. Miss him. Learn time management is the best advice I'd probably give. Life is just way better when you finish everything and you can actually hang out with people rather than spending like late nights like doing homework. I would say just remember to relax. Stuff's gonna go south sometimes but I think it's important to like not lose sight of what really matters because there's not really a whole lot that matters once you get out of high school so just know what you want and know how to get there. Try and like find stuff in school that you like, you know, pick classes that you want to do, that you think you'll enjoy and learn and get value from. Never be afraid to ask questions. Your teachers are always there for you and they understand they're also human, so there's always someone who can help you. When I was a freshman, I didn't speak English very well. So first two years, I didn't make friends and speak English only the schools. Sometimes I regret to come here. Junior and seniors, I got many friends, and sometimes I can't speak English and I'm overthinking, but they're gonna wait. You should keep talking. I think that is that I learned it in this four years. Going to college with Julia. <laughs> Well, the summer, being able to like relax and kind of like do whatever, and then also going to college, getting ready, and like being able to like move in, kind of like meet new people. For summer, I definitely plan on spending more time with friends and maybe some more time with family. After that, I'm definitely looking forward to like getting research opportunities, uh, meeting new people in a new environment. I would say in college, I'm looking forward to living by myself. I'm like ready to live not with my parents, ready to experience a taste of independence. The fact that I get a new start is really exciting, so I'm excited to build my life again, and yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> it's really a shame that the seniors are going to have to leave us, but then again, no finals for them. However, we do have to take finals, and one of our team members has curated a beautiful speech for all of you taking the finals, and here it is. Hello everybody, it is time. This is the moment that we've all been preparing for and now it is time to give it our best shot. I just wanted to wish you all the best of luck. I know you have all studied so hard and you have sacrificed so much time to prepare for this moment. We've come a long way since the beginning of this year. Trust in the knowledge that you've learned, the skills that you have developed throughout this year. Remember that these exams do not define who you are. It is the lessons that you have learned along the way. You've got this. Believe in yourself. Stay focused and show them what you are made of. You are not alone in this journey. We are all in this together. Good luck, my friends. Show them what you are capable of because you are capable. What are you doing? It's 4.30. Go home. Cut! 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 Daniel, that was a great speech. Thank you. Still a little scared for finals, but that's natural. Your encouraging words really helped, and it was a great way to end off the final broadcast of this year. 
Mm -hmm. That's right. Please follow Lex High Cut on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope you all have an amazing summer and I'm really, really, really looking forward to seeing you all next year. Scooch, mm -hmm. other guys subscribe. Episode of the High Line. We are your host, Daniel. What's wrong? You sounded like a bot. <laughs> How did the Roman Empire get cut in half? I don't know. With a pair of Caesars. I heard of. Okay. I was breathing. <laughs> Step apart a little bit. How ugly as always. I'm this close. I'm this close. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Capacity challenge. And oh boy, they did great! <laughs> Why? <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> <laughs> that was great! <laughs>